Hey everybody, 8-Bit Josh here, and welcome back to Planet Zoo in Wildlife World. And we're already on episode 7, we're moving quite, moving along quite nicely here. And uh, so right now, today we're working on a new exhibit, or habitat, I always mix those words up, that's right in front of our Bengal tiger habitat. And it was kind of like a small little area, and I was like, well, we could fit like... It's like perfect for like a small animal habitat. And so I decided to go with the Chinese pangolin. Pangolin? I, I think that's how you say it. I, I could be messing that up. But you can see it's like, it's a nice small little area kind of in between where the main path splits off. And actually I didn't even realize like it's actually a pretty big space compared to the size of the Chinese pangolin. And I was kind of thinking, well, I don't know, should I make it smaller? Especially because you see here in a second, I actually make add on a little extension um, for their shelter. And so here just adding, you know, have like a little water feature. You know, I like to do like a bunch of plants and everything around there. Um, just, you know, kind of loading it up with all of the shrubberies and foliage and all that fun stuff. But yeah, it was, you know, it's a fun little fun little cute little kind of animal and so this is the sort of extension if you will to the habitat that I was talking about which also acts as their uh, shelter because they do require a hard shelter and I thought it'd be neat okay so the habitat says that it requires a climb proof barrier so I was like okay so what if we do like like a little shelter with like trees and branches on the inside that can double up as, you know, where if they need to like, you know, sleep or if they get stressed from, you know, all the guests kind of staring at them all the time, which happens to the animals occasionally. And, but you know, I, I haven't actually seen them climb, so I don't know, do they actually climb? They, I don't know. They require a climb proof uh, barrier. So, I don't know, that was kind of my reason. And then it has like the windows kind of halfway down because I thought it'd be cool that lower path that you kind of see behind it guests could maybe watch them climb around in there from that perspective so I don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes if they actually use the little indoor shelter climb I don't know jungle gym thing I made for them uh, we only have three at the moment which I think is the max like group size for them so it's not like we're gonna have you know, a dozen of those things running around in the habitat. But I don't know, we'll see. I think it looks cool. I think it's, I think it's pretty neat and, you know, having sort of like, like their uh, shelter that's sort of in this big climb, climbable structure that's indoors. But then they can also go outside for the other half of their habitat. And you can see here, I was just, you know, occasionally checking on making sure that their habitat meets their needs because like I said, they do require a hard shelter. So I just created a bunch of these, not a bunch, I think there's three in total, little platforms inside the shelter there uh, where they can go and sleep if they'd like to. And then I realized the window pieces I uses, used don't have glass in them. I was like, well, that's not gonna work because then they're just gonna escape. So I switched them out. So now that they actually have a nice little glass window there and then here I'm, I'm going around and making sure that the barrier is climb proof on the inside which it is and everything is going swimmingly until I mess up the uh, the habitat gate and I was like man so I had to go and try to finagle it and then I had to like redo the path and it became this whole thing but eventually we got it and uh, it looks much better, which you'll see once we get into the real-time gameplay. I added rocks and trees and stuff to kind of block the staff path right there from the guest view because the guest path is like right next to it. And I wanted to create a barrier to keep it out of sight from the guests, but still looks, you know, visually pleasing. And I think that worked out pretty well. So. You'll, like I said, you'll see that once we get into the real-time gameplay. And then here, just kind of, I wanted to use some big trees uh, to kind of place around the shelter. 
just to kind of conceal it a little bit and make it look nice but then you know also like you know just visually pleasing to us and what would be like nice looking to the guests as well um, so yeah here we go just placing I I kind of make like a little cliff face I guess here where the path goes down next to the waterfall which is gonna be it's gonna have to be a whole other build to do this bottom section but because it is right next to the habitat and the shelter I wanted to it, it seemed like it was necessary to get at least this part here done now rather than waiting as we kind of move on through the zoo we'll have to we'll have to do more around the waterfall like because it's obviously it's not themed or anything right now and it just kind of looks like poo but it'll look nice once we get there but like I said that's gonna be another build because it's gonna take quite a while to get all of that around the waterfall done and looking nice and so so yeah we're doing this part now just because it's right by the habitat and it all kind of works together using these like bamboo pieces which I think look awesome and they're great for not only using as like sort of a tall bush but then also like kind of sinking down into the ground so you really only see like the bushy top part of it if you will and then here just trying to figure out the power because it is kind of further away from the uh from the other hat well it's not further away from the other habitats because the tiger is right across the path but the 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 next closest power source was too far away so then i had to figure out you know getting you could see down down in between there's like i had to carve out a little area for the staff path to get to it and it became a whole thing but we finally figured it out and uh yeah so here's the part i was talking about where i was kind of trying to conceal the staff path from the guest view there so just placing lots of like rocks around here just trying to make it look a little bit more natural you know like maybe the path is following a natural kind of the way the train move moves or I don't know I don't know how you want to say it I think it looked good yeah so let's go ahead and jump into the real-time gameplay Okay, here we are, and here's two of our Chinese pangolins all in their, their mating, I'm pretty sure. Which, I think I actually turned off, um, well, no. One of them I thought I turned on. Where'd you go? It was just over here. Oh, look, this tree's flooding. We should probably fix that. Um, but yeah, so, here we are. We're, we are, uh... Well, this, this real time is not starting off very well but yeah so here we go this is the this is the uh, completed Chinese pangolin habitat and uh, oh we have a bison who's about to mature so yeah like I said we have three of them right now this is gimming we have Tao and we have Li Wan and yeah, so this is the their sort of indoor shelter slash uh, climbing area that I made for them. And I, you know, like I said, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, it works for them. It it does. You know, their their uh, hard shelter rating is at a hundred percent, so it does. You know, meet their satisfaction for you know have, needing to have a hard shelter. Whether they go in it, I don't know, but it's pretty cool. They're cool little guys. They're just like, they're just neat little guys. They kind of remind me of like armadillos a little bit, but they walk their front legs. They walk like on their knuckles, which is like the funniest thing. They just, they look so funny when they walk. They look kind of like a mix between like an aardvark and like an armadillo or something. I don't know, he's, I don't know, I think this is one of the females but she's like digging some stuff up and oh we have some inbreeding about to happen but anyway so yeah this is what we were working on and then like over here you can kind of see the little cliff face I was working on and then like here so here's the waterfall which 
I did, you know, an episode ago, we kind of started, laid out the basic foundation shape of how the waterfall is going to look. We just need to use rocks like we did here on the left side to sort of shape around it and try and make it look nice. Hopefully we can make it work. It's kind of weird because this here is like, we have this weird lip here and I don't know, it, it's got to look, we got to find a way to make it look good, right? And I think we will. I think it'll look pretty cool. I actually rather like this little area because it is sort of to me looks like this was all part of like the natural landscaping in the area and they sort of built everything like the path and the habitat shelter you know to fit with the natural terrain so I think that I think that looks pretty cool like that I also did a lot of work back here so you, if you watch the lap last episode we did this little main street area here and I realized as I was you know building the habitat for a Chinese pangolin that it was kind of bare back behind these buildings and I wanted it to look really nice and so I added all the plants and the reeds here kind of along the shore of our lake I also added some because you know we are going for you know sort of realism here and we have like these little uh, electrical boxes and things but on the buildings I added a you know not a real path it's I tried to make it look like it was a real path where you know the staff probably just walk on this area all the time and they just sort of naturally mat down the the grass and the dirt and it's not as kind of nice looking around there plus we have one of our uh, power sources right here so it, it's actually kind of funny because it's actually connected to the path right here so when the mechanics uh, come back here for you know to do maintenance on that they actually come right here and they just do it through the through the wall but rather than I because I actually tried having a staff path back here to make it so that they actually walk right here instead of doing it through the wall but I just didn't like the way it looked so rather than moving it I sort of faked it by having a fake path here and I think it I think it turned out pretty good I also I think I mentioned this in the episode as well using these uh, moss pieces like when you when you add them along the like shores of water they actually kind of look like algae which I think is kind of cool it's a unintended little effect but I think it works pretty well I think I don't know I just think it's like I think it's really nice looking uh, let's see let's what do we have up oh, our pangolins are hungry well hopefully our keeper is gonna be on the way to bring them some food I don't see anybody coming we got two vets on the way and oh this needs repaired it's not quite there yet but it does definitely need something uh, do we have hopefully we got somebody another thing I'll probably need to do is I'm probably actually need to get another uh, keeper hut maybe like a small one we can put down here this way it's sort of closer to these two habitats because this guy is pretty far away but we still need it we need to keep this here for our nocturnal house our crocodile habitat and our so you know what I'm just gonna do that right now actually let's go ahead and let's place down staff facilities uh, what do I need Keeper hut. <laughs> Forgot already. And let's see. Actually, let's. Oh, Ben. Ben Aim. About to die of old age. He's been with us for a long time. Which actually, that reminds me, they added uh, some new features to the to the sandbox mode, which is what we are playing. Oh, are you gonna go in there? Go in there. You can do it. 
facility has power. Yeah. Oh, there goes our bison. But, um, actually, hold on. Let's, let's go over here. Let's go to work zone seven. We're going to edit that. And, oh, you know what? There we go. Those things needed added to, to that work zone as well. I wonder, can I take you and drop you off over here so it's just kind of quicker? Heading to staff room. No! I need... Where are you going? I need you to... Going to keeper hut. Here, go to this keeper hut. Well, actually, they're... I wonder if they're, that person might be going for the uh, for the tigers. So let's get you in here. Gonna give you a work zone. Where are you going? Don't go. Don't go to habitat. Go. These guys need food, or do they? Are they not? Are they not hungry anymore? I guess they're okay. I didn't I didn't turn meant I didn't mean to turn this into like sort of a let's play situation, but that's kind of what we got right now. Gotta take care of some stuff. But I was gonna say they added some new features. Let's pause the game. For sandbox mode. So you can disable like animal aging and birth death fights all that stuff so if you just want to build like a super detailed zoo and not have to worry about the management aspect you can do that which is pretty cool um i actually like you know the whole animal you know progressing through its life uh even though we're playing sandbox mode because i just think it's fun but i'm actually i'm thinking so i you know i mentioned this quite a bit over on my twitch channel i stream this and I'm thinking of doing for Twitch subscribers, naming animals after my subscribers. Uh, Twitch subscribers, that is. And, and I would probably, I probably would enable the uh, disable animal death. So that way, you know, those, those animals that I name after subscribers never, never die on us. But yeah, so... I mean, this is where we are. Our heart of Asia is moving along quite nicely, I think. And I hope you guys are enjoying the progression so far. We still have a lot to do, especially like this path here. Needs lots of theming. You know, I already talked about the waterfall. That needs a lot of work. But we're getting there. And it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm really, really happy with how it looks so far. I love the sort of entryway into Heart of Asia. It's looking really nice. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. As always, be sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. If you're enjoying the Planet Zoo content, why not subscribe as well? Make sure you click that bell icon so you receive notifications whenever I post new videos. So with that being said, I am 8 Josh, and thanks for watching, see ya.